Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Spare Parts, and today I'll be reviewing set number 75040, General Grievous' wheel bike. This set came out in the year 2014, came with 261 pieces, and retailed for... I don't know, because there's no information online. I tried to look forever to find out how much this retailed for, but I'm guessing it was probably like 20 to maybe $30, just based on the piece count, which was 261, so yeah, not really sure, but well, let's just say 25 But anyway, let's take a closer look. So taking a first look at the set, you can kind of see all that's included. So right here, this is the wheel bike in its wheel form. We'll get more on that later. You can also see it comes with Obi-Wan Kenobi and General Grievous and a heck of a lot of lightsabers. So if you're in the lightsabers, this is the set for you. But first, let's take a look at the play features. All right, so starting off with play features, you can probably see what the main one is here right now. Judging by the title of the set, which is wheel bike, you're probably thinking it probably rolls. Well, if you were thinking that, you'd be right. So, I don't know, the way I've used it doesn't work very well, but you kind of just push it, and it rolls for a little bit. Like, it doesn't roll very long, but I think it's a nice feature for, like, I don't know, kind of nice engineering. But anyway, the reason this is, like, it doesn't work so well is because it has to maintain and keep in four legs. So, if you fold out these things on the side here, they actually turn into some legs, so it can kind of, like, walk as well, which is pretty accurate to the movie, because that's kind of what happens throughout the scene is this thing's chasing him. And I really like the way it looks with its feet. I think it, I don't know, better for display, definitely. But yeah, it's really cool how it can like roll somewhat okay and also have feet like this. So yeah, there's like, it has a converting method and I think that's super cool. But anyway, moving on from that, it also has some, uh, even worse than spring-loaded shooters, it has some flick fire missiles, which is just so weird because this set released in 2014 and I feel like, I feel like that's when they had them because... I've reviewed other 2014 sets that had flick fire missiles. But anyway, what the way this one works is you kind of, it's one of these things right here and you just flick this thing in the back and it shoots off. It shoots off pretty well, to be honest. Like it's, it works okay. It's just, they should just call them like bent nail missiles because it just hurts so much to flick them. And I feel like, I feel like it would have done, been worked much better if it was like spring loaded. Maybe it wouldn't have that nice like orange cone piece, but I still feel like it'd be better for the play features section. But anyway, moving on to the other side, there is a space for General Grievous to sit. So I'll grab him over here. And what I really like about this is they made use of his studs on his feet because he doesn't really have like the normal minifigure legs, so he can't really sit. So what you do here is you put his feet on this control panel. And then so it looks like he's sitting in this chair area, which is right here. Let's see if I can get him on there. It's kind of difficult to do. There we go. So it looks like he's sitting. But he's not actually, it's just feet are on the control panel. And I think that's super cool. And he fits really well there. And there's also this uh, piece here, which I'm not really sure what this is, but I think it's like a control panel piece. He kind of has his arms on that. So it kind of looks like he's driving it, which I think is super cool. And yeah, I think that's... Actually, wait, there's one more. One more play feature that I often forget about is you can hold his blaster back here in this clip. And I think that's kind of cool. I do wish, I wish this when I was younger actually, so I like to like kind of move them around and have like the whole set together. Is there's no place to store his lightsabers, there's just for his blaster, which I kind of feel is a letdown. Like back here, they could have put like some storage. But yeah, I, I kind of wish there was some extra storage. And I apologize, these feet are really squeaky. So you'll hear that a lot in this video. All right, so moving on to accuracy. We kind of touched on this earlier, but. I do feel like the way it like kind of flips and stuff is pretty accurate to what we see in the scene and how they were able to incorporate both of them into one set and have them both like kind of work is super cool. I do feel like maybe the texture on the wheel is not the most accurate. I feel like the older version might've been better at that, but I definitely feel like, I don't know, from like, if you're not taking accuracy into account, I feel like this looks better. So overall, I feel like accuracy is okay, but I feel like it looks amazing if you didn't really know what the source material looked like. All right, price per piece time. So basically I would just skip this segment because I don't actually know what the price would be, but I'm guessing it's like $25, 20. So if it was $20 for 261 pieces, that would be a steal, especially since General Grievous sets usually cost more. Just look at that like recent one. I think it's General Grievous, Grievous's Starship that was like, $80 when it really should have been $40, but just because it had General Grievous in it, it was more expensive. So I feel like if, if this set was $20, it was a good deal. Even if it was $30, it'd be a good deal because you get some lightsaber pieces, which really aren't that common. Like, I don't know, get four and one is pretty good, especially if you're collecting them. But anyway, I feel like this set probably, probably was a fair price, but I don't really know. So yeah, kind of useless segment there. 
All right, now time for minifigures. So starting us off, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi. I think he looks pretty accurate, except for maybe the hair piece. Like, I don't know if he really has orange hair, and this hair piece I don't really like very much. I don't know why, but other than that, I feel like he looks really good. He has some nice leg printing, and he has the Magna Guard staff, which I think is pretty cool. And he also has the blaster that he kills General Grievous with. I think that's what that's supposed to be. That's a nice detail. And on the back, he also has some pretty detailed back printing. And then I think he has a double-sided head as well. Yeah. Hey, it just it looks like just the face he does when he does the hello there meme. Hello there. All right, now moving on to the main attraction, and that is General Grievous. And personally, I feel like this is one of the best minifigures Lego has ever made. Just like, it's so detailed. Like, I don't know, all the pieces are uniquely molded, and besides one minor flaw, which I'll get to, I feel like he's super detailed, and he comes with four lightsabers, which is just so rare, and I don't know, I just, I love all the details and stuff, but his one flaw is that he's so breakable. Like, I once, I broke his head when I was younger, because I was a stupid little kid, and I had to order one back from Lego, and luckily they gave me a full one, so that's what this one is. This is like an, a replacement. They gave me a full other General Grievous, but his head was so breakable, like it just, I was just putting it on and it broke, and that was really annoying. And I know that now it's 2014 and I don't think you can order this piece anymore. So I feel like if he wasn't so breakable, even better, but from a display standpoint and like details, he's just really amazing. I feel like Lego really knocked it out of the park. And I think they're still using this mold today. That just shows how good of a figure he was and how much ahead of his time it was for 2014. All right, so now moving on to a section that's becoming more and more less long or less lengthened out, and that is stickers and prints. Seems like the more sets I'm reviewing, the less there gets, which is amazing because I hate stickers. I like prints though, which is kind of sad. But anyway, <laughs> the one print on this set is this piece right here. That's a pretty cool piece. I think it is in the movie. It is accurate. This should probably go into accuracy, but I feel like he does control it with that like circular dial to the side. I don't know. I'll pop up a picture if I can find one. But anyway, yeah, only one print on the set and it's a one by one tile. I mean, it doesn't really need it, but I don't know. Sometimes I wish there was more prints. Okay, so overall, I feel like this set is a... I don't know. It's too difficult to rank it without knowing the price. If anybody knows the price of the set, please comment down below. Because I'll just say if it's from 20 to 30, it's a 10 out of 10. If it's from 30 to 40, it's a 9 out of 10. And if it's above that, uh, 0 out of 10. Whatever. Because that's way too expensive. But I feel like if it really is as cheap as I think it is, it's a great deal. A great set comes with great minifigures and like even the Obi-Wan Kenobi has leg printing and I feel like the wheel function works good enough and it looks really cool so yeah I don't see how you could go wrong with this set unless you buy it on eBay for like $160 which is kind of a lot but they haven't remade the set I don't know why Lego hasn't remade this I feel like this would be great to remake I mean I don't know how they'd improve on it but really I'd buy this set again if they made it so there you have it guys that's my review of set number 75040 the General Grievous' wheel bike. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.